Many sources of renewable energy can reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. But the sun, sea and wind can't be turned on and off with a switch. The intermittent nature of renewable energy limits how much can be included in national energy grids. But things are about to change. Researchers from the University of New South Wales are converging in a new holistic energy research centre. Their common goal is to ramp up the use of sustainable energy in power grids across the country. Yes, it can be done. We have the technology and systems to achieve this goal. University of New South Wales researchers envision Australia with a truly sustainable energy infrastructure in the future. They see a clear and feasible goal of 10% renewable energy included in the grid for every 10 years after 2020. That is 30% by 2030, 40% by 2040, 50% by 2050 and so on. Targets they reckon are not just achievable, but necessary. The Tyree Energy Technologies Building, named after benefactor Sir William Tyree, will provide a model for how energy is studied, researched and developed with industry. I would really like to feel that this new building is going to attract a higher class of students wanting to do power engineering for which we have been really starved over the past for not having modern technology to help and influence young students to come to the university. Researchers from engineering, science, business and social policy will mingle in a space that is purpose-built to bring people from different perspectives together. The guiding principles behind the Tyree Energy Technologies building are not just about renewables but also about fossil fuels and it's an understanding of this mix between the two that's really going to be important in the future. In order to make this research successful we need not only a deep understanding of the technologies but also how they link through economics through to future energy policy. When we have this understanding, then it will make this research preeminent worldwide in future energy requirements. The common purpose is to find better ways to provide energy that underpins the standards of living in the developed world. And to provide energy for the billion plus people in the developing world who are still without electricity. We have not addressed the energy issue in a holistic way yet. Australia is blessed with renewable energy resources that include wind, solar, geothermal, waves, but we have to think of it not from the generation point of view, but from the system point of view, how it is integrated into the system in a more coordinated way. Researchers will be working towards the delivery of a smart grid. Energy from a variety of sources would be stored guaranteeing that all-important continuous supply. It's rather like the Tyree Energy Technologies building itself. Solar energy from the rooftop will be stored in a vanadium redox battery for those periods when solar power can't be generated. Both the panels and battery are University of New South Wales inventions. The vision behind the Tyree Energy Technologies building is to become a living research laboratory. The research teams will be working closely with industry to ensure that whatever happens in this living lab will eventually make it to our living rooms. Yeah.